it's Graham here at Crashtron, and today I'm going to take you through automatic recording on Microsoft Teams Rooms. So historically, there has been no way to start your recording from a Microsoft Teams Room. This is because they are a shared device and they have a shared identity. So for example, here I, I have interview room 02. And what you don't want is all people's recordings in this uh, storage drive for interview room 02. Wouldn't make sense, then you'd have to work out permissions, who's got access, etc. So Microsoft Teams Rooms on Windows uh, and Android, when they're in shared mode, they don't have that capability to start that recording or anything else like that. When you have a Microsoft Teams Room on Android, you do have that ability to put it in personal mode and then it can do that recording. And that's because identity, it has me, for example, Graham signed in, so it knows to store it in my OneDrive or my Microsoft Stream location. So what can we do with the Teams Rooms in a shared environment? Well, there's a new feature that is rolling out now to everyone within their Microsoft uh, tenant and options, is that the end user can choose to record automatically. And what this allows you to do, so any user that comes into the organization and starts that meeting, so whether I'm in my, my test tenant here, anyone who's inside the test tenant will initiate that recording. So the first person to join that's a trusted member of the org. If an external party joins, obviously they're usually put in the lobby, but they will not initiate the recording. The recording has to be started by a device that's inside the network or user. So for example, my Microsoft Teams room here, this will start that meeting because it's in the same organization as what I'm going to schedule this uh, invite from. So as you can see, I've got two invites uh, here on the touch panel, and I'll show you how we created them uh, in Teams and Outlook. This is not a compliance recording. There's plenty of tools for that uh, with the third party partners that Microsoft have with the Teams ecosystem. There's plenty of compliance and recording. This is just a recording for those that are maybe uh, forgetful or like to record their meetings. Maybe it's your weekly team meeting and you have people in different locations and they watch it the next day, for example, to catch up. So this is really what auto record is, is really for, is for those internal meetings that you want to record and the options can be set from Outlook on the web, Outlook on the desktop, or in the Teams client. You just go to the meeting options, and we'll show you that in a second. So let's now head over to my desktop, and we'll see it in action. So here I have my Microsoft Teams client, and let's now create a meeting. So I can just double click on an area, add our title. So uh, we'll call this recording from Teams, and we'll invite uh, interview room number two. So that's now there, and obviously this now creates it a team reason. I could do recurring, and uh, the automatic recur the automatic recording works for uh, recurring meetings too, and that's all I need to do. So for now, I will hit send, and now this meeting is scheduled. And what I can do now is go into the options, and so I click on edit, and I have the ability to go to meeting options. Now this will open up another tab, so take me to the Teams meetings options. And obviously I can choose who can bypass the lobby. But here is this new feature, record automatically. And I simply turn that on and I hit save. Now this will uh, initiate when the first person from the organization joins. So if a third party joins the meeting, they will not initiate this recording. If someone else joins, then inside the tenant, then that will start the recording and it will be saved in my location because I created the meeting uh, as Graham Walsh. So that's done there. Now let's just uh, prove this. We'll also create another entry and have someone external join just so we can see it trigger. So that's how we set the recording from Teams. And I can do the same thing in Outlook, for example. So Outlook on the web here. I can double click, create a new meeting. And again, I'll invite interview room two. And I'll also invite that external participant. And obviously we'll make that a Teams meeting. And I hit send. So that's now scheduled. And again, I can go into Outlook. I can go into this entry and I can go to meeting options here. Again, I'll op open the, the same tab that I had before. And I turn on record automatically and hit save. And again, if I was on the Outlook desktop client, I can go into the meeting options there and enable it as well. So that's how simple uh, we can uh, enable this to 
set up. Uh, there is no policy, unfortunately, to say, I want all users to record automatically. It's a user choice. They have to make the decision that they want to go and record these meetings. So now let's jump back to the Microsoft Teams room and we'll see what we've got there. So here we have my Microsoft Teams room and you can see it's got the two invites now, one from the Teams client and one from the Outlook client. And my other system now has that available too. So why don't I just join on that system? And I will obviously be put in the lobby. So again, depending on your meeting settings, I could allow them to bypass the lobby, etc. Obviously, there's no initiation of meeting recording or anything just yet. That will be shown once that user uh, joins. So now let's join with our Microsoft Teams room. We simply click the join button. And you can see here on the screen, one or more participants are in the lobby. But also, what's key now is you actually see there's a meeting uh, is being recorded. So let's just blow up the center of room uh, experience here. So you can see recording has started. So this is indicating A, on the center of room console and B, also on the front of room up the top there that the meeting has been recorded. So this is a nice easy indication and we'll admit the user through the lobby. Make sure we're on mute. So there we go, we are now connected to the meeting. Everyone is in and everyone is happy on the call. And meeting is being recorded. So that is nice and simple. There's nothing for the end user to do apart from just set it up in their meeting invite to auto trigger that. So if they know they're using the meeting room and they're not taking their laptop, when they set that meeting up, just simply enable it so they can record when a user from the organization joins a meeting so it doesn't matter uh, if it's me or a colleague if they join from their desktop if they're at home for example or on their mobile they will still get that ability to initiate that recording and again just in the the control panel here should, should we say there is no options to uh, turn off the recording um, as a, a user it's recording so the microsoft teams room cannot stop that recording or pause it so if I was to join on my Teams client, obviously I would have that control. And actually, let's just do that. Join from the Teams client as well. And we're now joined on the Teams client. And obviously from the Teams client, I do have the ability to stop that recording. So that's a feature that I have on the desktop client or in the browser. I can do that. I'm able to stop that recording. That will be saved then to location. So that's really a nice, simple way. And why don't we just jump to my desktop here and we can see that. Here's my Teams client and there is the stop recording element. So I can go ahead and choose that and stop that recording for everyone. So why don't I do that now from here? Jump to stop recording. And there we go. You can find it in the meeting chat or on Microsoft Stream. So depending on where you want to, uh, where it gets saved, that's where it will be handled. So you can see it's been notified that the meeting has been recorded. It's been saved. We can dismiss that. So now let's just uh, end this meeting, and you'll see that the system here has got the recording. So that will be uh, available to view, and then we can click on this, and then it's now downloading it. So a really nice, simple way to automatically record your Microsoft uh, Teams meetings, especially when you're using Microsoft Teams rooms uh, in any flavor, Windows or Android, in a shared meeting mode, you just get the organizer to record that session. And then we can just open this and then we'll see our recording and we know what it is. It's exactly what we saw earlier, so there's nothing exciting to see there. So there we have it. That is the Microsoft Teams room with the end user recording uh, settings in either Teams client or Outlook, and you can enable that to just automatically record. So for those that are forgetful during uh, their stand-ups or, or weekly calls, they can simply enable that feature, and then anyone in the organization is then automatically recording this session. Thanks very much for watching. Any questions, let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and you'll see some more great tips like this uh, on Microsoft Teams Rooms. Thanks very much.